Hey, what's going on, social media family? Hope you're having a really, really good day. I want to speak to you about something. This is a prophetic word that the Lord gave me. I'm do a little teaching on it. It's really going to help you. It's something that I have implemented in my life, and it has strengthened me. And the, the people that I've ran with in the past and run with in, in ministry and business, this is something that when they do this, they get through all trials, tests, situations through anything. Recently, we were in a corporate prayer meeting and the Lord spoke to me real strongly and I heard this one word, steadfast. So I just kind of kept praying, waiting for something else from the Lord and it was just like steadfast. I said, okay, I just kept praying, waiting for the Lord to usually reveal something else, remind me of a scripture, speak something else. Steadfast. Third time, I said, okay. He said, I want my people to be steadfast. So, all right. First thing I thought about was being emotionally stable, that the Lord really needs people emotionally stable. You've been hearing people talk about the last 90 days to probably six to nine months, how much warfare has been going on. True. But I also see a lot of people being very steadfast right now. And these people are conquering fears, slaying goals, slaying giants, and doing everything God's called them to. So let's get into this real quick. 1 Corinthians 5.15. So now, beloved ones, stand firm, steadfast, and enduring. I'm going to talk about the first part of this. The Lord says, stand firm. Why do you need to stand firm unless the wind's going to blow hard? Trials are going to come your way. Tests are going to come your way. The only reason God would say stand firm is because there is something that is coming that could knock you off your path, your course. Stand firm. Second word is steadfast. Steadfast is stay focused on what you're doing. Stay on the journey. Uh, I, I remember when I was really young, I was, I grew up on a farm. I remember we were riding horses and working cattle one day. And I mean, it, it came a storm. It was raining and it was, the wind was blowing. I remember we were riding back towards the barn. It was pretty long ride. It was raining so hard you could hardly see. And my dad would say, stay steadfast on this trail. Do not get off this trail and we will get back. And it may have been a tornado watch warning. Who really knows? And so we made it back. The next part of the scripture says enduring. So when the word says, stand firm, steadfast, and enduring, you know that hard times are coming. But if there was nothing on the other side of the hard times, he wouldn't tell you to endure. He wouldn't tell you to stand firm. He wouldn't tell you to steadfast. He wouldn't tell you to keep going. There's something on the other side of your trial that you have to get through. There's something on, oh, whenever this season passes, I know something's going to be good on the other side. That's true. Whenever you're going through a hardship, hey, I know something good is coming or the devil wouldn't be fighting me so hard. That's what you charismatics say. You know you do. It goes on in 1 Corinthians 5, 58, 1558. Live your lives with unshakable confidence. Once again, that would not be in the scripture unless God knew that something was coming that could shake your confidence, unshakable confidence. Then it says, we know that we prosper and excel in every single season by serving the Lord because we are assured that our union with the Lord makes our labors productive with fruit that endures. Keep going. Keep moving. You will produce fruit even in a rough season if you do not stop. Second Peter 3.17, as you know, Loved one, since you are forewarned of these things, be careful that you are not led astray by the arrow of the lawless or lose your firm grip on the truth. Stay steadfast. 
in the word. If you stay in the word and you stay in the place of prayer, every day you're in prayer. You got 90% of life, life beat. Stay in there. Psalm 57, 7. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. Now, you know I love the word heart. The heart in the original writing of the Bible is broken into spirit, soul. Soul is broken into mind and emotion. Your spirit, your mind, and your emotions are strong when hardship comes. And then the last part of that just says, I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises. We're going to always be singing about the goodness of God. Whenever something happens, whenever something's going a little oh, crazy in my life, I'll put on the worship and I'll just sing with it. I, I just sing about the goodness of God. When you stay steadfast, God doesn't move. He's not moved. His word is true. The prophetic over your life is going to come to pass. Stay in there with the Lord. Stay faithful. Stay steadfast. And watch what happens. I tell people this. I remember a friend of mine I was helping through a rough situation a few years back. I said, man, look, if you can just make it one more day. He called me the next day. He said, man, I thought you said it'd be better if I could make it through one more day. Oh, I said, oh, I did. But I didn't mean yesterday. <laughs> I said, if you can make it through one more day. He said, okay. He called me the next day. Man, it, it, this hasn't broke. I said, well, how, how, how's it? How are, we, how are we going in this process? He said, it's getting a little bit easier. I said, if you can make it through one more day. Next day, he called and said, bro, this warfare is breaking. I said, can you make it one more day? Just one more day. He said, okay. Next day, he said, bro, I really think after four days, we're 50% through this. I said, come on. Let's go. Steadfast, enduring, stand firm, stay on the right path. Stay in the word of God. Stay in the place of prayer. About a week later, thing broke open. But he said what I learned in that time was worth everything I went through. I love you, steadfast lovers of God. If you need me, I love to pray for you. Go to website, jojodawson.net. Contact me. On the contact button, there's a place for prayer. Send me a prayer request. I would love to pray for you. All right, you have a blessed day.